Here I have the new Sonos One SL, and today we'll be doing a teardown and taking a look inside. So the One SL is very similar to its previous generation. At the top, we have the touch sensitive buttons, as well as the LED indicator, speaker grill in the center with the speaker and tweeter. And on the back, we have a reset button ethernet port. And on the bottom, we have the power adapter. So let's go ahead and tear this thing down and see if there's any differences between this year's generation and last year's. Once we remove the rubber feet on the bottom, we're greeted with four T9 Torx screws. And once those four screws are removed, simply pop up the bottom cover. And now we remove one Phillips screw. Now we can slide off the mesh cover. It's got a simple button here. And here is a look at the Sonos One. We've got a three and a half inch speaker here a uh, one inch tweeter above. It appears to be wrapped in a black tape. The reset button is located here as well as that ethernet port. And let's go ahead and remove the top buttons. And to do so, we're gonna carefully peel up on the adhesive we're going to be careful because we do want to reuse this. And we're just going to peel it right to there so that we expose these two torque screws. Repeat the same process on the other side. And we're also gonna peel back on the back here. This will expose a hidden screw here and repeat that same process on the other side. Now using a T8 driver, we can remove these two screws. Repeat the same process on the other side. If you guys are interested in any of the tools I'm using, I'm using this iFixit screwdriver and it works extremely well on electronics. I'll leave a link down below. Now we can flip up on the Sonos and gently peel up. And this will remove the touch panel. Be careful because there is going to be a wire connected here. Here's a close up look at the touch panel. This looks like it is plastic welded to the top of the case, so I will not remove it. Now to open up the back of the Sonos, we need to peel off this adhesive on either side. All right, that should be enough to expose six torque screws. And these are those T8 torque screws. Once those six screws are removed, we can grab a pry tool, gently pry up on the back housing there will be some cables exposing. So go ahead, disconnect this connector. And I'm gonna undo the power cable here using my T8 Torx driver. And this will expose the power adapter cable. 
Now looking inside at the speakers, I'm gonna first remove the tweeter. And to do so, I'm gonna use a T10 Torx driver to remove four screws. And once you have those four screws removed, the tweeter will pop out the front where we can disconnect the cables. Here's a close up look at the tweeter, which is a one inch tweeter. Now I'm gonna remove the main speaker. This one is held in by T20 massive torque screws located here, one, two, three, and four on that corner. Here's a close up look at the three and a half inch speakers. We've got these speaker connections on the bottom here. And those uh, top connectors connect to that tweeter. Now looking back at the Sonos here, you'll notice we have a red and yellow wire. Those will route into the empty housing here. And that is for the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi antennas. And to remove those, we simply loosen these Torx screws here. So using our T8 Torx driver, We can peel up on these. Be careful though, because these wires are going to be soldered. So you'll notice these are the antennas, but they are soldered on. So we'll go ahead and leave this intact because there's nothing wrong with these. Same thing with the other side where you can remove it. But again, those wires are soldered. So now all we have to look at is the processing board. And to remove the board, we have a few Torx screws here. These are Torx 9 screws. And before I remove this board, there is one connector we do need to disconnect. Now we can gently pry up on the board and be very careful, pull straight up because we do have that ethernet connector here. And that is the back of the board with the reset button. And here's a close up look at that main board. Here is a look at the back. And again, here is that close up look of the back of the board. Here's a close up look at the front of the board where we have the processors and chipset. So that's gonna do it for the teardown on the Sonos One SL. It looks very similar to last generations. However, it has no microphones built in. So if you guys did find the video helpful, please leave me a big thumbs up. Leave any comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of these internals. And you know, let me know how you think this generation compares to last generation. Check out my channel for tech videos, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.